Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system to check out from the user Pluto is a planet. So, interesting name. I'm sure that will spike uh, some heads. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to their system. So, it's called the Hot Reese's system. The Hot Reese's 1803. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. It should be on the workshop. Dude, come on, down here, there it is, okay, let's see what they have got for us. Okay, so basically this is a large system with a star called HR1803, HR stands for Hot Reese's, okay, so, here we are, pretty big system, oh my god, it's still going, still scrolling, still scrolling, and there's a random banana, what's that all about? <laughs> it's huge, one mass of sun. What is that doing over there? Huh. What is this? It's miles away. Whoa. In the deep void of space. That's a mysterious object there. <laughs> right, anyways. We've got a lot of objects. Let's check it out. So, all the way in here. Right. The star itself. So, six mass of sun. 3.5 radius. Okay. Cool. First of the planets here, we got a hot Neptune sort of looking planet here. Glowing, glowing hot indeed. Okay. Oh yeah, that's looking good. We got uh, this one as well. Plus this here. That's very, very hot as well. Oh, it's glowing. It's glowing hot. Let's have a look underneath. So. There you go, okay. Apparent looking blue surface there, alrighty. Next up we have got this world. Carmen X over here. I like the little patches of water on that, that's quite cool actually. So there is that one there. Okay, next up we got this one, Le Quibble. That's a nice looking earth like world there, okay. So that's got 87, no life likelihood on it, unfortunately. Got some moons as well. Got one and then two there, okay. Moving on, we got Nus P over here. Alrighty, there it is, looking good. Also got a bunch of asteroid moons, I'm assuming, yep. Okay. One, one slightly large moon. Alrighty. We've got an asteroid belt here. Next up, we've got Carmen over here. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's got a lot of moons. Looks like it's got some rings to go with it as well. Let's check it out. Okie dokie. Looking good. Do you like the rings? Oh, yeah. So that has a lot of moons. Okay, next up, we've got Labud over here. Alrighty, so that's a nice blue one there, looking good. Oh yeah. And again, just a bunch of asteroid moons as well, so we won't go into detail with those. Because there's just loads and loads of them. So, there we are. Next up we got Vriliap over here. So it's got one small ring. And then we'll get it as well. And just a bunch more uh, asteroid moons by the looks of things, yep. Yeah. Okay. A slightly more unique colour moon here, okay. Really fancy. We've got Curio just behind it as well. Right there. Alrighty. Okay. Moving on. We have got this one. Rainkus over here. Nice blue one there. Looks like some purple mixed in there as well. Looking good. Now we'll take a jump out to Liburn over here. So a smaller, smaller rocky world. Okay, larger than Earth though. Okay. Then we have this one. So a nice blue, pale white and blue looking planet there. Okie dokie. Looking good. 
And we got, uh, we checked this one, didn't we? Yep. So then we're taking a big jump out to Yubane over here. This one's got a weird purple area on it. Okay. Must be pretty dark out here, yeah. It's so pretty far away. I mean, how far away is this? Oh, 447 AU. Okay, so that's a, that's a big distance. Alrighty. Those purple areas are clouds. They're not actually part of the surface. Okay. So that's in permanent darkness. Miles and miles out. Okay. Then we have this one over here. That is a cool looking planet. Whoa. I do like the way that looks. That does look really, really cool. They're patches of snow, I'm assuming. Yeah. I like that. That ice. Water. Oh, so the water on the purple makes it look really, really good. I like that. That's a really cool looking planet. Has a little moon as well. Hey, check it out. Tiny little moon in the depths. Okay, so how far away is this guy? Because we already checked the last one. Whoa. 0 0.02 light years. How many AU is that? 1739. Okay. Oh. Okay, dokie. And now we'll take an even bigger jump to this. What is this? 0 0.7 mega years. 0 0.246 light years away. So that's a huge distance. And this will never see the light of anything. So, oh, how many AU is that? 15,000. <laughs> so if we actually look around, there's our star over there. And you can see it's not really uh, photorealistic. There, just in the distance there. You can't see nothing from here. It's completely dark. So there we are. That is that for that system. So, banana again. It's huge. So there is the system itself. We've got a nice mix of gas giant colours. If you look there, a real nice mix of colours in here, actually. Very fancy. Okay, so there we are for that system, guys. So, again, that was a massive... Uh, Massive load of distances between these guys. But yeah, that was submitted by the user Pluto as a planet in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending in this system. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this system, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more, help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. And yeah, guys, with that all said and done, make sure you guys all stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.